Today's video is about the highly anticipated Mugler and H&M collaboration. Mugler is a legendary fashion house known for its edgy and futuristic designs. While H&M is a fast fashion giant loved by millions of people worldwide. So when these two brands join forces, you know it's going to be epic. In this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the collection and some sneak peeks of some of my favorites, or should I say, items I've been able to actually see. From striking silhouettes to unexpected details, this collection has something for everyone. So if you're a luxury fashion lover like myself, you don't want to miss this. Let's dive in. Okay, so how I'm going to do this, I have some screen recordings that I took from Instagram from their little music video they did, and I'm going to insert those and try to stop and show you some pieces um, based on what we're able to see and then just tell you my thoughts and everything. Okay, starting with this first one. So I'm going to turn my, the video sideways just because they turned it from portrait to landscape. So at first glance, they have denim and mesh pieces, which of course is Mugler's vibe. So that's to be expected. Now, at first glance, I noticed this M belt is the thing that stands out the most. Not in a good way, in my opinion. Now, they have two different sizes here. They have this larger version and the smaller version. The smaller version may be a bit more stomachable. Just made that up. Sounded like a Zori, but hey. But I don't know if they have a belt with this logo or if they're using this logo elsewhere. I'm not really a fan. I just think that they don't need to do this as far as creating a logo belt. We have enough of those. It's fully saturated. In my opinion, I could be totally off on that, but... This is how I feel. As far as this denim crop jacket that the left model is wearing, I'm a huge fan. I love it. Seems like it has like a black leather trim, perhaps maybe even mesh. Who knows? I can only tell so much from this video. And I think that's a bodysuit she's wearing with the Mugler jeans with the, the uh, I don't know if this could be mesh, jersey, or some other type of material inserted. I don't really like those. They look like a baggy fit. I feel like if they're going to do these jeans, it needs to be more of a fitted vi uh, vibe, but everybody doesn't like fitted jeans. I totally get that. Moving along to the middle model, you know, it looks like she's wearing tights, like the little mesh panel tights that they have, and then a bodysuit that, mm, maybe, it's hard for me to tell, and then black gloves. Not really a fan of that. And then on the right side, the model is wearing, of course, the mesh panel bodysuit that they have, and then she has more fitted jeans. So it seems like they have two different options in this photo or this part of the video. They have a more baggy version, which more people might gravitate towards, like a 90s fit, you know? And then they have the fitted version that everyone knows and loves. So it's great that they're being inclusive with that. Not everybody wants fitted, like I mentioned. So moving on to the next part of the video. Let's try to pause it again fast. <laughs> oh miss something else so i see this model has some earrings it has like the star and it hangs a bit i don't know if that's gonna be part of the collection i am i'm presenting commentary on everything i see in the video just in case but those earrings look pretty cool they're not my vibe i don't really like statement earrings but those are pretty cool they're different which i expected from this collection i might pause it a bunch of times okay i doubt they're wearing anything i don't know if that that choker necklace is a part of the collection maybe we'll see it later oh let's see that necklace there it looks like it could be because it's kind of similar it is of us and move on to the earrings i just showed you okay coming right through with the m belt some earrings and hopefully they come back otherwise i totally missed it okay so she's wearing a bodysuit whoa apple okay stop it she's wearing the same m belt i don't know if the heels are a part of it or if she just paired that with the outfit let's see if we can get a closer look at these looks okay so the model on the right here she has some chain jewelry going on what the i must have pressed play oh stop just stop okay actually i can see a better look now okay so let's start with the middle model because that's what i was talking about so she has like some chain i think i know i forgot what you call it but it's like a chain, jewelry, necklaces, whatever, that hangs from the chest and to the bottom. God, what, what do you call that? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think about it. That's unique. And she's wearing like this faux leather cropped biker. Well, not really a biker, but kind of like a cardigan kind of vibe with faux leather, some sort of bottoms. I'm not a fan. 
The left model has like the suit. She has this bodysuit underneath. I love the bodysuit underneath. I love that. And then the right model has a bodysuit. Or no, actually, it might be a dress. Like some sort of velvet dress. And then the gloves and then the tights. And I think that necklace, because we saw, I showed you guys that other necklace a few seconds ago where someone else is wearing and this model's also wearing it. So I have no reason but to think that this is also part of the collection. So pretty cool. Again, not my vibe, but hey. Okay, here's another model. This jacket is very cool. It's like a hoodie, seems like hoodie vibes, but it has like a corset built into it. Or there's a corset underneath. It's hard, kind of hard to tell from pictures because it's all black. Either a corset belt built into it, which I think that's what it is, or a crop jacket over knee, or the top. Blah. Or I can't talk. Or a crop jacket on the top. I feel like it's just built in. That's what it seems like. I wish they would be still, you know, so I can see what the hell they're wearing. Okay, this model looks like she has something over the top of her bra. Like, you know, I don't want, it's not a crop top because it's super short, it comes up here. But, oh, whoa, 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 too fast too furious go back so this portion here seems like it's over the bra it seems like it's built over it and she has some gold like a gold chain the other model has silver so it seems like that might come in two different models which is cool for people that don't really like silver this model i have to go back that seems to be like the same mini dress we saw i'm not sure if this is all one piece i do know one is long one side is long sleeve the other side is sleeveless there's some cutouts there. It seems to be like a mesh panel right there around her tummy area. This model's wearing that same chain, a blazer. I'm not sure. Looks like it may be a faux leather and also collarless. Some mesh panel tights. This blazer. OMG. We got to go back. I'm sorry. We got to go back to this girl. Look at this. Look at this. It's like a corset fit in the middle. It has hook and eye closures all the way down from like this part on down and it has mesh oh my gosh that's gonna be a sellout piece that will be one piece that i would be interested in it's really nice very sexy so moving on to the green vibes here i'm in love with this i love the long coat i'm not sure what material that is but knowing if it's h and m i feel like it's gonna be a bit of a cheaper material which i may or may not like i'm not sure if they're gonna if mugler is gonna bring their quality to h and m or if they're using H&M's material for their pieces. That I'm not sure of. I'm not sure the fabrics of this, but it looks pretty cool. I love that green. The model seems to have the same dress we saw earlier that was black, that was fitted, that had the side cut out with the one sleeve. I feel like that would be the same style as this one. So it looks like it may come in green and black, possibly other colors. That's what I see at this point. And a matching jacket. Those earrings look pretty cool too. They're gold. So they're playing with gold and silver. And there's another close-up of those earrings. And the coat seems to be, now I can see, seems to be like a full leather material. I can't imagine it being real leather. It's H&M. But it's a really nice color. Like a long trench. Those shoes may be a part of the collection, actually. We'll have to see. But I love the vibes of this coat. I love this whole look. So there's the first video. Let's move to the next. So, starting with the first look. I'm loving the vibes of this. The sparkle everywhere, stars everywhere, it's mesh everywhere, she has mesh tights, possibly a mesh bodysuit if I had to guess, and then a skirt over the top of it. I'm, I love that bodysuit. I love it. Y'all know how I feel about bodysuits and mesh. <laughs> it's kind of similar to the other dresses we saw, but I don't see any mesh. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have, yeah, I don't see any, any mesh. So it seems to be like a solid coral color. Tie at the neck, one long sleeve, one sleeve, mini skirt or mini dress. I like that. I really like that. It's a nice color on her too. This dress is more of a bodycon style, a uh, tank top corset, kind of a bra fit with mesh. That's a, a pretty color. I don't really like this dress. It's just not my vibe. I feel like I'm too old for that. <laughs> this model has on, oh, she comes stepping, sister. Go, sis. She comes stepping with this mesh panel bodysuit. Okay, lime green. This is nice. This is nice. I feel like this is my vibe. I need to do some work right here, but we can make it work. I feel like, and then easy. Also, it'd be easy access for my daughter. She needs to feed TMI, but you know me, I like it. And it also, I'm trying to see what this says. It says Mugler. It doesn't say H&M, which is nice. I feel like, 
I know people shop at H&M. I used to shop at H&M too. I don't anymore. I shop more Zara. But if I'm spending this price point, which I feel like this collection is going to be, I want it to say New Glare. I don't want it to say H&M. Kind of like with the whole Fendi Skims thing. I didn't want Skims all over things that were expensive, you know? And it's nice that they put New Glare. Now, I don't know if they have H&M anywhere on here, but I don't see it. So that's nice. Bodysuit wish list. I like it. And that's it for the second video. Let's look at the third. Okay, so it seems like these models have one more corset, mesh panel, dresses, bodysuit, um, tights, and that kind of thing. So you kind of get the whole, oh, stop. Kind of get the whole look right here. So that's really nice. I love those tights. I love the bodysuit. I love this whole vibe. I don't think I'll wear it. I like this unless I was going to Coachella, but it's nice. I like it. So overall, great collection in my opinion. I feel like they really played on both sides of the spectrum because I feel like a lot of the stuff they're going to take H&M's fabrics and it's not going to be quite H&M price point. I mean, it's still a designer brand coming in H&M, so you have to be considerate of that. It's not going to be exactly H&M price point in my opinion. It's going to be mostly, it's like a blend of the two, you know, a nice blend. Hopefully it isn't too close to Mugler because it is being sold at H&M and it's supposed to be affordable, but Overall, I really think there's some nice pieces to be bought in this collection. That crop jacket I showed you all earlier, the bodysuit, especially the lime green and black one was really nice. And let me see if I can remember what else. Okay, this hoodie with the corset in the middle is really nice too. This blazer with the corset and the mesh and the hook and eye closures. This entire green vibe is nice. I'm not just saying it because I love green, but it's still very nice. Now, I will say with the mesh bodysuit that I'm showing you now, I would get that, but I just wouldn't wear it with the entire look. I would just wear the mesh bodysuit with some jeans or something, with some other bottoms, a skirt or whatnot. I wouldn't wear the entire look by itself or, you know, all together. But I will say with the mesh pieces from H&M, from this collection particularly, I would reach for those before I get the ones from Glare because mesh should not be overpriced. It's something that can rip very easily. So to pay a lower price point for that, I think is smarter. So. I like that too. So those are the pieces I like from the collection. The collection is set to launch May 11th in stores and online or just online. But New Glare and H&M is truly a mesh made in fashion heaven. Don't forget to mark your calendars for the release date and grab your favorites before they're all gone. Feel free to leave in the comments which pieces you're planning on grabbing or snagging from the collection. Any. I hope you enjoy getting a sneak peek at the stunning pieces in this collection. And I'll leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thank you for watching.